More help is on the way for some of Detroit's uh, most at-risk people who are living on the street homeless. Cass Community Social Services is renovating a building right now that will serve 75 people taking their first step off the streets. And the focus will be on supporting families in need as they look to put their lives together. For decades, the three-story building at 14th Street and Webb was home to nuns who served Visitation Catholic Church and School and the surrounding community. Now these young people from Dexter and other volunteer groups are hard at work cleaning the cafeteria and tackling other tasks as renovation of the building continues. I think the nuns would be happy. Reverend Faith Fowler is shepherding this project, which in the coming months will bring homeless families in off the streets. Privacy, dignity, autonomy, safety, right? All of those things are important. Providing that has been impossible for Cass Community Social Services at its emergency and warming shelters, which temporarily house those in need in one large room. Imagine trying to get your kids to sleep in a room with 50 people where other kids maybe aren't wanting to go to sleep or other uh, adults are perhaps wanting to watch TV or, or somebody's got a cold or the flu or COVID. This former convent has 30 individual bedrooms and the space will allow families, large and small, to stay together. That's the first step in off the street where women with kids and occasionally men with kids uh, can, can figure out a way forward uh, with the help of the staff. You know, how do I secure housing? How do I obtain a job? All those big issues that you really can't solve on the street. This is the biggest challenge. Adding male bathrooms is a major task in the renovation for Michael Van Antwerp, who is managing the project. Because it was a convent, it, the restrooms are only for women. So we have to d rip out those restrooms and create male and female restrooms on all three floors. The chapel with its stained glass windows intact will become a study area with internet access. The ceiling's perfect. Uh, we don't see any leaking. So um, this will be a great area for kids to come and do work, do study. Comcast gave us free Wi-Fi. Retiree Don Redding is part of the volunteer group giving the building's interior a fresh look. Our group has painted all, pretty much all the rooms on the second floor. They've lined up the third floor for us to get started on at our convenience, so we'll just keep working away at it. Bottom line, it'll become a comfortable place for the families that will be served here. Yes, that, that is the goal and that's what we're gonna do. Catholicism and nuns in particular have a bent for social justice and, and, and for works of mercy. I think they would be very pleased that the building has continued to be used for a ministry of sorts that helps people who are really in need. Reverend Fowler expects families will start moving in by Christmas. The building will be called the Fox Family Shelter. That's in recognition of the significant financial gift that a, re a retired doctor and his wife uh, provided uh, to allow for the purchase uh, of that historic structure. And it is so needed right now, especially families being right. together and having a place to go. I mean, they do warming shelters, they do emergency shelters, but the fact that you can keep a family together during this difficult time temporarily uh, is really, really crucial. Certainly beautiful. Great yeah. story for you to share. Yeah.